Hi everybody, welcome to Devotions today. It's Monday and Christmas is getting closer and closer. I hope Advent is proving to be a good season for you. I don't know about you, but um, our teenage boys, especially, we have two teenage boys, uh, we try to bring them up uh, not always successfully. <laughs> And those of you who had teenage boys and maybe girls as well, when they went and stayed with friends, they always seemed to come back with different clothes. And we asked them, well, where's your T-shirt? Or where are your slip-slops? Or where are your... No, no, um, you know, uh, Charles has got it, or Paul's got it, or... Um, and who's you wearing now? No, well, uh, this is Chris's uh, shirt. <laughs> And somehow in the middle of all the mix-up of the weekend, they just kind of swapped clothes. Um, so uh, they always had a variety of clothes to wear. Clothes are actually important to us. Um, if you want to make your wife, if you have one, uh, really happy, buy her a beautiful article of clothing. And it will cheer up because putting on new clothes uh, also helps us to feel good about ourselves. I got a new shirt because I had to go to an Hawaiian themed occasion. Well, makes me feel different as well. Well, there's a lot about clothing and clothing ourselves in uh, particularly in the New Testament. And uh, when we become Christians, we're told that we put off the old nature and we put on the new, I mean, put on the new nature. Uh, Paul says, "Clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ." He also says, "You have now clothed yourselves in Christ, and you now have a new nature that you've put on, which is created to be like God." I mean, this is amazing stuff. Uh, and uh, Peter says, "Well, we." participate in the divine nature. We share the nature of God. This is extraordinary, extraordinary stuff. And this thing of swapping the old for the new is what baptism is all about. Whether you get baptized as an infant or whether you get baptized as an elder, adult is a, a big debate in some places. But the meaning of it is that in Christ we take off what is old and we Put on what is new. Now, this week, the theme for Advent is joy. And let's face it, joy is sometimes that we really, really battle with because life is tough. Things happen to us. People say things to us. Things go wrong. And it's hard to keep the spring of joy rising up within ourselves. But Jesus said to his disciples, I've told you these things so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. So when we put on Christ, in other words, when we take Christ into our lives, uh, we take his nature. And so we haven't got to depend upon our own joy, which can actually be uh, a pretty dried up spring sometimes, but we can depend upon the joy of Jesus within our lives lifting our spirits and enabling us to be at peace and with a spring of joy in our hearts, which comes uh, from him. And so Paul says, and this is the verse in our little Advent book this week, is the fruit of the Spirit is joy. When you plant a pansy seed, you get a pansy. When you plant a petunia seed, you get a petunia. When you plant a little orange uh, tree, a little slip, it produces oranges. And when you plant the Spirit in your heart, the living Jesus by the Holy Spirit, you produce the character of Jesus. And part of that character is the gift of joy. And so when the angels sang, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. And Jesus came because he wants us to be joyful. As his followers, 
to be a miserable Christian is a contradiction in terms. And so even though life can be difficult, I have seen in so many people that I've ministered down through the years that even though life is tough and days are dark, there is nevertheless a little spring of joy because Jesus is there. And so put on this new clothing. Swap the old for the new. Share in that nature of, of God that he plants within our hearts and let his joy be your joy. Not overflowing happiness and um, abundant sort of uh, jumping for joy kind of, but just that quiet, quiet stream of joy that can flow even in the darkest days. May God bless you. And may you have a joyful third week of Advent and uh, we'll see you again. Bye for now.